of the Victoria Falls, after a series of bends and rapids, the current of the great Zambezi River flows more than 1,500 miles from its source. Here it crosses the zone situated in the geographic center of an enormous plateau, which constitutes the southeastern part of the African continent. Over this territory, which a Portuguese traveler once defined as a place where only birds can... I remember a place when I was little, jumping onto a boat on a vast expanse of water that extends as far as your eye can see. Suddenly I was interrupted by a cockroach that jumped right out of the leather stitching on my seat and onto my leg. I was frightened, but thrilled. That <laughs> first hilarious experience brought me to understand the whole essence and grasp what adventure really means. You just never know what to expect. Vultures dominate the area, infected with every kind of insect, fish flies and mosquitoes that cluster on people's eyes, nostrils and lips. Attracted I'm a simple man with one mission, to explore the whole of Zambia. They all live in a primitive state and in holy terror of Nyami Nyami, the river god, who according to their beliefs punishes anyone who dares to challenge his course. Popular amongst tourists, fishermen and women, this lake has been a sustainable source of energy and food for many years. Into this zone, men have come to harness the forces of nature for their own use. They have built a dam to confine the waters of the Zambezi at a place where the river is forced by nature to pass through a narrow gorge between two towering cliffs. That is the Kariba Gorge down there, where the sky seems turned upside down in an immense stretch of still water behind the jungle. Work began in August 1956, exactly one month. So we packed our bags and set off. Lake Kariba is the largest man-made reservoir in the world. It's 282 kilometers long and 100 meters deep. Wildlife is of particular interest in this region, although bigger game can be spotted on the Zimbabwean side. Crocodiles and hippos, although a rare sight, can often be seen on the Zambian side, making swimming a dangerous adrenaline sport for the courageous. Common sightings of bird life include fish eagles, heron, egrets, geese and cormorants. Standing at 182 meters high, this triumphant dam wall was completed in 1959 and was officially opened by Queen Elizabeth during Zambia's colonial times. 
Over 1,000 megawatts of power can be generated, making it an important source for both countries Zambia and Zimbabwe. Siavonga has become known as the Riviera of Zambia and is perfect for a weekend getaway. The people are very warm and friendly and you can enjoy fishing, boat cruises, jet skiing and others amongst numerous activities. Some locals believe of a great river god known as Nyami Nyami, which relates to a particular rock on the swirling river's edge at the entrance to the Kariba Gorge. This is where the deity is believed to have lived. Today, this rock is buried more than 30 meters below the water surface. During construction of the dam, the locals believed that Nyami Nyami was furious and actually caused a flood to wash away the initial construction of the dam in 1957 before it was reconstructed and completed in 1959. Kapenta was originally found in the Rift Valley lakes of Rwanda, Congo, Tanzania and Zambia. It was introduced into the Zambezi River initially in 1959 upon completion of the Lake Kariba and in the 1970s was introduced into the Kabora Basa Dam. This has made it easily available in Zimbabwe where it is known as Matemba in Shona. The lake hosts over 50 species of fish, including the tiger fish, tilapia, nembwe, vundu, and barbel that grow into massive sizes in this enormous water body.
I met two fishermen who were kind enough to show me how they catch their fish, which they will later sell at the local market and take some home to their families. Can I ask how much one bream is? Oh, okay. As I turned around, we were greeted by not one, but two friendly dogs that were ecstatic to see the crashing waves so they could cool down their blistering paws on a hot summer day. Clearly, they are living a life their other four-legged friends could only dream of. Hi guys, I'm on the shores of Lake Kariba and I've just, I've just met a very interesting young man. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Dimitri. Dimitri? Yeah. Do you know where that name comes from? Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Has any, nobody has ever told you where the name Dimitri comes from. Uh, my mother is the one who told me about it. The meaning, I don't know the meaning of my name. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, as far as I know, Dimitri is a Russian name. Uh, I believe he's a Russian politician. Okay. I can't remember exactly which uh, part of government he's, he's a part of. It's interesting to find someone with a Russian name in, uh, in Zambia. So what do you do? Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. But uh, I saw you helping those fishermen over there. I helped them because I, I just know them. Yeah. Yeah, I was just helping. Yeah. Cool. You're a very helpful young man. Yeah. How old are you? I'm uh, 17 years old. 17? Yeah. Cool. Uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I was just wanted to be a doctor. Okay. Oh. So uh, if I didn't manage to be a doctor, yeah. I don't use it, so I can do I can just be a pirate. Say. Oh nice. Yeah. Yeah, so if you become a pirate you can see what the like Kariba looks like from an aerial view. Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah. So mm -hmm. how many pair of shoes do you have? Uh, I have I have five pairs of shoes. Yeah. As far as I know. Yeah. But I don't have shoes, so. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that if you can manage it, help me to give you shoes so you can manage it. Give me some information about that. Okay. Uh, how much is a shoe? Hmm, here with a the shoe, they sell 200, 150. Like okay. these those shoes. They just tell them they want you to do shoes which you are wearing. Okay. Yeah. So we need uh -huh, 150 extra. Yeah. I don't know if I have 150. It's sweating out here. I'm sweating is hot. Uh, Dimitri. Yeah. It's very hot. Why is your town so hot? I don't know. One fifty? Yeah. So okay, yeah, it's been two hundred. Uh, okay, go go buy yourself a new pair of shoes. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you for helping me. Okay. Yeah, my bag. <laughs> it's too heavy, but uh, hey, three hundred meters across a wide beach. Okay. Thank, thank you so you much, Dimitri. Yeah. Have a nice day. Okay. All right. Cheers. Bye. Bye.